Hey, what's going on? It's Jay from Sony Alpha Lab. And in this tutorial here, I want to go over this photo diox adapter. And it's pretty cool, very well made. It's made for the Sony Next. And what I wanted to show you was the built in iris. Check this out. Pretty cool. So it's an adjustable aperture. So anyway, that goes on the Next 7. You just screw that on. Like so. Now I got my Canon 135 F2. I'm going to throw that on there. Line up the dots. Like so. There we go. So now I got that on there. Now what I want to do is set up the Sony Next 7 so I can actually use it with the lens. And let me show you what I mean. Hey, what's going on? It's Jay from SonyAlphaLab.com. And now we're, what we're doing is we're looking at the back of the Sony Next 7. And I just attached the Photodiox lens adapter and also the Canon 135 F2 lens. So what we're looking at now is the back of the screen. And I just want to show you exactly how to set up the Next 7 to shoot with a, a, an adapter like this. Because watch what happens when I try to take a picture. See that? Cannot recognize lens, attach it properly. It's like, uh oh. You know, you might think you have a problem here, but it's really not a big deal. Let me show you what you need to do. Just select menu, and then what you're going to do is navigate over here to setup. Then what you're going to do is scroll down here in setup till you get to peaking level. Then you want to do turn that on, start at medium, and start at red. Those seem to work pretty good and you can always adjust them. You have a couple different colors here. This is going to help you focus uh, when you're using manual, which is what you're going to have to use when you put a lens on like this. So manual uh, focus assist I have on. Two seconds, color space. Here we go. See this? Release without lens. This is the feature you need to change. Enable. There we go. Now let's see what we got. Alright, so what we have here is we're looking at the lens and we're trying to get it a sharp shot. So it, you can use the focus peaking to help, which works great, but another great feature that you really have to utilize is this focus on the bottom here. See the focus? Um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to hit that button, and now it's going to tell me how much it's going to zoom in and where it's going to zoom in. There we go. So now I'm zoomed in, and now I can adjust the focus exactly where I want it. How about right there? Right about there. That looks pretty good. And notice how the focus peaking is still helping. I could actually zoom in a little more, even. And <clears throat> see if I can fine tune this just a little more. Yeah, see that depth of field is so shallow. Hmm, what that blue. Blue is, but... Alright, well... Right about there, it's as close as I can get it. Let me try, see what we got. Alright, play, zoom. Let's see here. There we go, it's pretty good. Has a little bit of that blue glow or whatever it is around the white there. But we're shooting wide open, so what are you going to do? Alright, so let me try now simulate stopping it down with this adapter here. I'm just going to turn the adapter. Right now it's set to 1, which is wide open. I'm going to turn it. That's all the way. So that's as far as it'll go. Maxed out. I'm just going to take a picture like that. Actually, let me zoom in and check the focus first. The focus looks pretty good, actually. So I'm going to take a picture and zoom in. Yeah, look at that. So you can see it does work. I mean, it's not the the it didn't increase the depth of field huge, but you got to I mean, the depth of field is so shallow using this lens that it really did do a, a pretty significant amount. So let me back it off a little bit here. That's all the way. Now, obviously, I I lost some of this. I lost a lot of the screen due to the vignette, but let me back it off a little bit now. Let me go all the way open again. All right, all the way open, all the way closed. All right, right around there is about halfway. Take a shot there. Let me check the focus. 
Focus looks good. I'll zoom in. Yeah, looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Got to really see it on the screen, but and as you can see, the depth of field is less. So it does do something. I mean, it's not, like I said, it's not the same as an aperture or anything, but it definitely does help. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys got something out of this. And if you have any questions, please just uh, go right down to the comments right below this video and just uh, start typing. Uh, I will answer your questions. It might take me a couple of days, but I'll get to it. Don't worry. And uh, if you guys have any problems, uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. So have a good day, and I'll catch up with you.